This video is a bit about corporate finance and how to solve corporate finance in particular in your CFA level one exam. First of all, it's pretty good value. It's 10%, it's 24 questions. Uh, and there are a lot of wordy sections. I mean, corporate governance, for example, very important, especially the environmental, social and governance, the ESG parts of it. Uh, more, it's increasingly important in the investment world. But it's also quite straightforward. You read it through, most of it makes sense and hopefully to give you a fairly good handful of simple exam questions. Other topics are more technical, things like capital budgeting, that contains methods such as net present value, internal rate of return, and the profitability index. And a few points to note on this. You've got a number of clashes which can cause a bit of confusion. For example, net present value versus internal rate of return. As you should be familiar with, when there's a clash, NPV wins. Why does it win? it quantifies the benefits for the investors. Internal rate of return, uh, there are various diagrams that we draw in the slides, and that demonstrates that you, you may have a really good IRR, but if you reverse the cash flows, it ends up a very poor project. You've also got the idea of multiple IRRs or no IRRs, which also, also cause problems when trying to use it for analysis. The profitability index is the sum of the present values of future cash flows, divided by the initial cash outlay. It's not the NPV. So just think carefully when you're calculating NPV, you're saying the present value of all the cash flows, including the initial cash outflow. With profitability index, you do not incorporate the initial cash outflow. And then you take those PVs and divide by your initial cash outflow to get the ratio. Simple example, and bear with me, I'm not scribbling on a board here. Let's say you've got a project, NPV is six, all in thousands of dollars. NPV is six, initial cash outlay is two, and therefore the present value of all future cash inflows are eight. So present value is eight, subtract the initial cash outflow to give a present and a net present value of six. The profitability is the eight divided by the two, which is four, and not the NPV of six divided by two, which gives three. Now, this actually, I hope you can follow that, but this actually gives a very useful little exam cheat. There are little cheats actually all over the curriculum here, but the cheat, for example, is by spotting the obvious error. If you include the initial cash outlay, so you're looking at the net present value instead of the present value of future inflows, you're going to be exactly one lower. So if you take NPV over initial cash outlay, you'll be exactly one less than if you take the correct answer of present value of future cash inflows over your initial cash outlay. So in this case, you'd have six over two, which is three, instead of eight over two, which is four. And so in this case, if it's a bit more complex, you may look at your three exam options and say two of them differ by one, and therefore we know it's the higher of those two. So in other words, it gives you the answer just by understanding an obvious error. There are similar cheats to be had in other topics. For example, in your cost of capital reading, you may spot, for instance, in a, in a WAC calculation, the weighted average cost of capital, you may spot that one of the answers for instance, is a bit higher because it doesn't include the tax adjustment on the cost of debt. Now, things like that, if you understand what's going on and how the calculations work, and in particular, what can, what can go wrong, it often helps you to get to the right answer. There you go. That's a bit on corporate finance. Hopefully some quite good questions for you.